So if you hadn't killed John in the future, I wouldn't have sent you back in time, and we'd be dead by now. All those people. It seems so wrong. It was necessary. Hi guys, Double Turks YZ, and we are back with Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, and uh, I guess kind of a quick heads up, I ended up, um, I ended up actually having to restart this entire game uh, on a new file, as uh, I think I found out, uh, I think I found out that the, uh, what I was playing, I don't know what it is, but I remember I did use cheat codes back in the past, and I think it must have corrupted the game in some way, which uh, kind of explains some of the weird things that ha has been happening with the game itself, maybe over the years, and I just... Uh, so a anyway, I ended up just replaying it up to the, up to the last session, but um, I think everything should be fine right now, at least like the no weird glitches or clothing glitches. Uh, weapon glitches, anything like that. So all the everything seems to be okay. It seems like activating cheats is what caused the issue to begin with. I don't know, but uh, anyway. So here we are, back in uh, the past, future. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, we're in 2032. I guess technically this will take place before the events of the Terminator getting recap, getting captured and reprogrammed. I guess, and at this point he's trying to kill John. So, uh, technically, we're fighting for Skynet, and what we have is a uh, Skynet phase plasma rifle, huh? Clear insertion points of all gun, of all gun emplacements. Yeah, so now we're taking down all the humans. I guess they, for the most part, the play the plasma rifle here Excellent. is pretty much about the same as the uh, Sky uh, Techcom's rifle. I think, anyway. It's a Terminator, but it's on my side. Switch, <laughs> Techcom. I, I don't have any bullets. Okay. Here they come. <laughs> well, when in doubt, use your fists. I guess I can steal his gun, right? Excellent. Alright, so on my way to kill John Connor. <laughs> as weird as that is. There's so many humans all around. <laughs> I 
I gotta say, it's a little bit surreal having... Now switching to the opposite side, now I'm fighting against the humans. I need some backup here. All threats terminated. Incoming artillery fire. What? Who? Where? artillery batteries well, if I get close but surprisingly <laughs> the humans are a little bit easier to deal with than the machines but then again the humans are as effective as stormtroopers so <laughs> Need a little bit more health. Making my way somewhere. All right. see John Connor. Tell him I'm an old friend. Yeah, right. And I'm the queen of England. <laughs> he's an old friend. Actually, he's not wrong with that. <laughs> John Connor, it is time. You 
know, I gotta say, yeah, so I was saying, not much security for protecting John Connor. It was only like two guards there. <laughs> and it wasn't like it was even heavily secured, you know, heavily bunkered or anything like that. <laughs> All right. Find Sarah Connor's coffin and remember, protect John, but don't kill anyone. Understood. Okay, locate Sarah Connor's coffin of weapons, but don't kill anyone. So we have no choice but to use, uh, melee attacks and you gotta <laughs> yeah so we had to protect uh we had to protect john and kate here although this is another mission i'm not really too fond of I'm trying to protect John, but this is kind of foolish. I have to keep meleeing, but I do get some interesting things. MP5, uh, nine millimeter pistol. John, you got in my way. <laughs> Damn you, John. <laughs> He's been terminated. How can he be terminated? I just meleeed him. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to ask. Sarah Connor's coffin. All right, try this again. You are under arrest. I guess he's down. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you this, yes. God, it's just so foolish. I had to keep meleeing everything. I mean, too bad I don't have any like tranquilizing rounds or anything like that. Oh, don't kill it! Oh god! This is going to be a pain. I don't even get continuous. I got to do this in one clean shot. <laughs> I mean, this really wouldn't be much of a problem if John could just stay back and get out of the line of fire. Find Sarah Connor's. I think maybe the chopper is what's shooting me. <laughs>
get out. <laughs> Where is that coffin? <laughs> no, he's still standing. Okay. Right, I'm hoping John's okay because I can't even see him, but... That's through, I guess. I don't know. On the coffin. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I got the weapons that I need. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing uh, just to remove the uh, movie scenes. <laughs> Although I gotta say, it kind of weirdly puts me in the mood to see the movie again. Hooray! Okay. So, disable the vehicles. Don't shoot anyone, but disable the vehicles. Just don't bother with auto- well, it will automatically aim at the, uh, the cars, right? <laughs> Thirty cal machine guns, my- Granted, I could still alien, right? I can't I can't fire anyone, but I can at least knock him out. Well, it kind of seems like the, the SWAT keeps spawning. <laughs> I'm kind of partially afraid I'm going to be shooting the actual SWAT team. But I guess as long as my bullets just hit the, uh, the vehicles, I should be okay. <laughs> RPG. <laughs> Do I even be using this here? Oh, that was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> oh, don't jump in my line of fire. <laughs>
gas grenade launcher, huh? Gonna need some more health soon, somewhere. Let's hope there's some nearby. <laughs> I really need some. I mean, luckily the SWAT team's not doing a lot of damage. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. You get all these weapons and you can't really use them. Kind of. <laughs> or I'm using them on vehicles. I mean, I guess that's something. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so many good scenes. I'll admit that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, so here at CRS, and having to try to locate the files, I guess. Require elevator access card. Yes, yeah, so apparently at this point, Skynet has become self aware, and now it's trying to. Uh, well, initiate its attack against the humans. <laughs> and of course, another escort mission, which I'm going to hate. I need to try to do my best to protect these guys. But easier said than done. Oh shoot. Whew. Okay. Destroyed. Grease them good. That surprisingly worked. Okay, AR-15 assault rifle. I'm guessing I haven't to try to protect the hostages or you know the the workers here. I mean good thing these things are pretty weak. <laughs> Alright, go with the minigun. Elevator access card acquired. 
Okay, now I had to get to the elevator itself. Ready when you are. Terminated. Probably would stick to alternate fire with the minigun. Oh. Well, okay. Like I said, these last few missions are just pretty quick. <laughs> I think for like the most part, they're like anywhere from like three to five minutes. But at least it kind of signifies that the game is coming to a close. Alright, well I think I'll probably call it right about here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean we're getting pretty close to the the end of this game, Flash movie. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, hopefully I should be able to pick it up again pretty soon, and uh, I'm kind of debating what to do after this, uh, I'm kind of more... I'm kind of more leading towards another Terminator game, but that's a possibility. I'd wait and see on that. Alright guys, this is Double Hunter XYZ, and until next time.